I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 23rd of April. And we wonder if the 24th of April 2010 could be one of these red letter days in Alabama weather history. A, a very major severe weather outbreak is about to uh, evolve here. Let's go right to it and talk about some of the sky cam shots first uh, coming from uh, Mount Sheehaw. Look at that, a cloudless sky. You look at that and you think, what severe weather? Beautiful today. Most spots up in the uh, low 80s. But look down south. You can see the change in the air mass. That's the sky cam down in Escambia County in the community of Atmore. That's on the Alabama-Florida line, about 50 miles northeast of downtown Mobile. Uh, Low-level moisture is streaming north and uh, farther south down in Daphne on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay. Uh, the sky is cloudy, and those rich 60-degree-plus dew points are moving up this way. Well, there you go. That tells a story. Incredible uh, trough out west. Interacting with unstable air across the deep south, that is setting the stage for what could be a very rough go of it today and tomorrow. The uh, surface low is on the plains of Colorado down to 988 millibars out there. Uh, you can see the front is occluded uh, north of that, and uh, one warm front is to the north. Another one is going to be moving north during the night and tomorrow morning. Peak of temperatures very quickly. We are in the low 80s, Birmingham at 80. There's our uh, watch warning map, and things are indeed beginning to light up. A uh, number of tornado watch boxes uh, off to the west. Flash flood watches for the Memphis uh, County warning area. Look at the tornado watch up there in uh, Nebraska. In one peek at the uh, Jackson, Mississippi sounding, they launched a special uh, balloon at 1 o'clock this afternoon, and uh, that looks pretty fierce. Uh, th that is a classic loaded gun type sounding. There's uh, a little bit of a cap in there. Uh, wind fields are very strong. We've got excellent... Uh, uh, veering of the wind with altitude, uh, both speed and directional shear. And uh, that is very favorable for uh, a severe weather outbreak, uh, basically sitting on a powder keg, and that's the kind of air mass more than likely <coughs> we will have in here tomorrow. We'll check some of these boxes. Uh, this is the box farthest to the west. Uh, this one includes uh, uh, Tyler, Longview, Shreveport, Monroe, Texarkana, El Dorado, and this one includes a pretty good chunk of Mississippi. Uh, already. And uh, this thing is really evolving uh, pretty quickly. Uh, this is valid till 8 o'clock tonight. And it sure looks like we'll have to maybe consider the chance of a few strong storms here in Alabama late tonight after midnight. We still think the bulk of the problems will be during the day tomorrow. We'll look at the uh, convective outlooks. This is day one, a moderate risk. Basically, with those watches are currently in effect, that includes Little Rock and Jackson and Memphis, uh, Shreveport, back into Tyler and Longview. Tomorrow, no major change in the outlook since this morning. A moderate risk over a pretty good chunk of Alabama. That would include Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden. Also Memphis, Jackson, Little Rock. All the way back over to Shreveport. The probabilities within the moderate risk area, 45%. That is an amazingly high number uh, in that that means there's the, four, the chance of any one spot getting severe weather within 25 miles of a point is 45%. And uh, there is a chance that those guys will be upgrading that, uh, at least part of that, to a high risk tomorrow, which are relatively rare. And then on day three, <clears throat> which is uh, Sunday, the risk moves on to the east, the, the standard slight risk from Tallahassee and Jacksonville north up to the mouth of Chesapeake Bay. And don't forget, it's going to rain a lot. Uh, that's the good news. It'll flush away some of the pollen. Rainfall amounts uh, expected to be in the two-inch range around here with this system. Lighter amounts down south. Let's check modeling here. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Big trough lifting out, going somewhat negative tilt. Excellent difluence aloft, aiding in the lifting process. <clears throat> There's the surface chart at 1 o'clock, a uh, sub-1,000 millibar low near Little Rock. And again, that is very favorable for uh, back southeast winds at the surface. Excellent helicity. I mean, everything is there for a big severe weather event. I guess if there's anything that might be not as high as it could be, it's the instability, as you'll see. Uh, we'll go to uh, just after midnight tomorrow night. This is 1 a.m. Sunday. The uh, surface low, 988 millibars near Indianapolis. And at that point, the storms will be ending over West Alabama. And <clears throat> Sunday, it's all gone. Sunday looks fine for the big race out at uh, Talladega. The Aaron's 499. No problem there. Uh, let's look at uh, some... Severe weather parameters. First off, this is the uh, wind speed at 850 millibars, valid tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. And uh, you can see that we do have a low-level jet well established. In fact, the uh, winds at that level, about 5,000 feet, are over uh, 60 knots just northeast of here. And again, that is extremely favorable for severe weather. 
Surface-based instability. The action, the numbers are coming up. Uh, this is uh, tomorrow night, and this is suggesting capes of uh, over a thousand joules. The numbers are more uh, higher now in this latest run. Helicity very high. This is the uh, zero to one kilometer helicity veering of the wind with altitude. Significant tornado parameter. Goodness, that thing is maxed out near Tuscaloosa. Uh, now this is valid at twenty one z. This is four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And uh, there's just great concern that right there during the peak of the daytime heating process, everything comes together for these cellular-type supercells to break out across uh, Alabama with the potential for long-track violent tornadoes. Supercell uh, parameter maxed out, Tuscaloosa. In fact, that thing's off the chart. Uh, that's pretty remarkable. So, again, uh, severe storms likely tomorrow. And <clears throat> it looks like we'll probably amend it to just pretty much mention the whole day. I don't think we need to focus on you know, noon to midnight anymore. We'll just say tomorrow and tomorrow night. Really, I'd say 6 a.m. to midnight. And uh, everything we've talked about all week long, potential for large hail, damaging wind, tornadoes, maybe a few violent long-track tornadoes. And if you're watching this, you're, you're aware of this, but I, our concern is for those that don't watch this. But, uh, you know, to be near a good source of weather information tomorrow. Uh, Monday... Looks dry in case they run that Saturday race on Monday out at the Super Speedway. Now, Tuesday, a very strong uh, Vortmax comes to the base of the trough over the east, and that could squeeze out a little light rain. Uh, we'll mention an outside risk of a shower, and by golly, it might squeeze out a few snowflakes <coughs> over the uh, Great Smokies up there. Not many, but probably a few. Wednesday of next week looks good. That will be dry. Thursday of next week, we stay dry. And a week from today... Big trough over the west. We got a southwest flow aloft here, and that suggests we might see some showers breaking out by Friday of next week. No severe weather. The main dynamics way north. The following day, Saturday, May the 1st, looks kind of showery, but again, that's not really a severe weather look. And then the following day, Sunday, May the 2nd, kind of more muggy, but nothing really to squeeze out the rain as the this next system is shunted more north and west of the state. Into the forecast on uh, the 9th of May. Pretty good flow aloft. That's a northwest flow aloft, some sign of a cold front digging down through here at that point. But, and again, there's no skill in being specific out there. We just like to peek and see what the model's showing. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. <clears throat> we'll have notes on the blog, a running uh, update on, on this event, uh, alabamawx.com. Uh, my next video will be Monday morning at 7. Uh, we'll have Brian Peters doing the updates, uh, the videos tomorrow and Sunday. And again, uh, frequent updates, uh, including our live coverage and everything else. So stay with it, and we'll get through it together. That's it for the Weather Extreme video. Have a great weekend, and God bless.